Hello, this is Mr. Kenyon Nola, and I'm going to help you find the surface area of a solid uh, with a hole that goes right through it. So uh, let's look at this shape right here. Uh, this is a, a rectangular prism, and it has a cylindrical hole that goes right through it. So to help you guys visualize this, what I did was I took a block of wood, uh, ignore this blue tape for now. And uh, so I, I found this old block of wood, kind of the shape of this one right here. Uh, and just re let's remember what surface area is. Surface area is the number of squares that you could fit on all of the surface that we could touch. So if we poured some paint onto here, it would fill up this space, this space, this space, this space, this space, this space. All six of these faces right here. Uh, but uh, what we have here is a hole. So what I did was, uh, let's, let's take this tape and take away this tape and it has a hole right here. So it takes away some of the surface from this face right here. So taking away this tape takes away the surface and it, it gives us, uh, it takes away a circular surface from here. And if I flip it over and I take away this tape right here, it takes away the surface from, he some of this surface here, uh, from here, and it creates a new surface uh, inside. So, uh, yeah, so it takes away uh, a circular surface, okay, from this top face, it takes away another circular surface from this top face and creates a new surface that we, if we, if we splattered paint on it, uh, paint would also fall onto this inside uh, right here. So hopefully that helps you guys visualize and understand what's going on here. Uh, so what we're going to do is, uh, let's actually draw this hole that goes all the way through. So from here to here, and let's draw that circle that goes through there. So uh, we have a rectangular prism with a cylindrical hole. Uh, so first, let's work on the rectangular prism. Uh, let's just pretend that there really isn't a hole there. Let's pretend that there still is uh, that blue tape uh, that is on there like we have here, and if I, if the question said, just find the surface area of this rectangular prism without that hole. Uh, if you guys remember, the formula for surface area of a rectangular prism or a prism is 2B for the two base areas plus P for the base perimeter times the distance between the two bases. So uh, let's just label this, so prism. Okay, um, so let's figure out what the surface area of this prism is. I'm gonna use the uh, top face and the bottom face as our bases. So let's, uh, let's find our base area. So the, the area of this top face, uh, well, there's a five right here, so uh, length times width for a rectangle, so five times times six. Okay, let's just put this six here. Let's put this five here. So five times six would be 30. So we have two times 30 plus the P. Remember, P stands for base perimeter, and we have a rectangle. So five plus five plus six plus this six. 5 plus 5 is 10, plus 6 is 16, plus another 6 would make it 22 times the distance between the two bases. Remember, we chose the top and the bottom faces to be our bases. How far are these? Uh, it says 4 centimeters, so we'll multiply that by 4. Okay, and so let's just uh, multiply this out and add the two uh, products. So 2 times 30 is 60 plus 22 times four is 88, and 60 plus 88 is 148. Uh, let's just make sure that all of that is correct. Two times 30, 60, uh, 22 times four, 
is 88 and 60 plus 88 88 is 148 good all right my mental math is pretty good so far uh so that's the service area of this and this and this and this and this and this uh but we have that hole so uh this hole right here is a cylinder uh, so if you guys remember, the formula for the surface area of a cylinder is the same as a prism. Uh, it's 2B plus PH. Uh, however, we're going to change one thing to this. Uh, so remember, when we took off this tape, it takes away the surface area of this face right here and when we took off this tape right here it took away the surface area from this face and these two faces served as the bases uh so we take it we're taking that away so take away uh another word for takeaway is subtract or minus so if we look at our formula if we're using this formula for the surface area of this cylinder and we're taking that away from the surface area of this this original uh, prism, we'll put a subtraction here because that this right here takes away from this entire surface and this takes away from the, the surface on the bottom face. Um, and then we're still going to add the perimeter times the height because remember when there's a hole, it creates a new surface on the inside. So we'll, we're still adding. So. Uh, let's figure out what, so B is the base area and it's a circle. Uh, and if you guys remember, the formula for a circle is pi r squared. So pi r squared, so that's area of a circle. Uh, so our radius is 3. So if we plug that into here, we would have 2 for this, the two bases times pi times 3 squared. So this is the area of one base times 2 for those two, uh, for taking away the two circles from this entire face. Plus, okay, P is base perimeter. Another word for perimeter for a circle is, is uh, circumference. If you guys remember, the form for circumference is C equals 2 pi R, and our radius is 3. So we'll write 2 times pi times 3. And the height or the distance between these two bases is, well, for there is 4, 4. So from here to here would also be 4. It doesn't look like it's 4, but from the top face to the bottom face, it's 4. Okay, so. Um, so there we have it. Let's multiply it all out. So We'll bring down this negative. Uh, 3 squared is 9. 9 times 2 is 18 pi plus uh, 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 4 is 24. So we have 24 pi. Okay, so we have now let's we can combine these. So uh, negative 18 pi plus 24 pi would be 6 pi. And so now we have the surface area. Uh, so of so we subtracted this, taking away this surface, taking away this surface, but adding this new surface right here. And we're going to take this value and add it to the the total surface area of that prism. So we have one hundred and forty eight plus six pi, and it's in centimeters. Our surface area is the number of squares that fit, so centimeters squared. So that's how you find the surface area of a solid, of a prism, specifically this problem of a prism with a cylindrical hole right through it. Hope it helps.